Have you ever just looked at an art style and be like, I want that. I need that. Well, that was me. Whenever I watch anime, it's always inspired me to do something with my art style. And that's what drawn me to this art style. <laughs> drawn? Yeah, got him. You take an art style that you like and you replicate it the best you can. I took 16 of my favorite animes, put them in a wheel, and spun seven to see what I should draw. So I have a list, like a large list of, uh, not a large list, but a list of 16 animes that I have potential of drawing. I'm gonna pick 10. I know 10. I'm gonna do 10. Uh, I'm gonna pick 10 out of the 16 to draw in the art style of. So wish me luck. All right, let's do a good old spin. Please, please be something I like. Bunga Stray Dog. Okay. For those who don't know, this is a good anime. You should watch it. It's yabble dabbling time. Time to talk to you about why you like these animes. Does anyone else remember when like anime art styles was like really condemned? Cause as a kid, I tried to avoid the anime art style as much as possible cause I thought it was bad because everyone hated on it. But I ended up just doing it anyways. <laughs> Now with the art style, this is Bungo Stray Dogs, as you have been told. This is a anime about a bunch of detectives with a bunch of these powers, and all these characters are based off authors who written books. I love this art style. It's very sharp, pointy, and messy. It's lovely, and I love it, and I've tried to do this a lot as a kid, but I've always scrapped this drawing, which sucks because I want to show them here, but I, I don't have them. But this art style gave me, like, the hardest struggle out of all of these. Like, this is the one where I'm like, uh, it doesn't really look like it, but I tried. Uh, the ta-da! There you go. Woo! Now it's time for the nine other ones. What am I doing? No! JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I put this in as a joke. Because this is one of the most detailed all anime styles there is. Nice. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. One of the weirdest yet interesting animes there is. With a lovely art style and the most chaotic storytelling. Why is most of the things in it in it? I don't know. But let me tell you, drawing this art style absolutely sucked. I hated it. It was fun for a little bit until I actually had to try. I think the only notes I have for this one is I took I took a random Vogue pose and turned that into a like into a JoJo pose because that's in reality what the creator did. And but otherwise I just stole an outfit from another creator and ta-da, here it is, but pink. Woo! Spike's family. Many of you guys probably know that one. Do not get mad at me when I say this, but I never really cared for Spy X Family's style. It's just that generic anime style just with a little, like, rounding. But that being said, this style sucked. So I just copied yours entirely and just changed up the hair. I'll be honest, because, like, it, it still doesn't look like Spy X Family, but I, I tried. I tried. I'm not gonna ramble too much about this one, because I hate it. Okay, okay, okay. Jujutsu Kaisen, please. Yeah! Alright, I love Jujutsu Kaisen. Is he high? Oh, how I love Jujutsu Kaisen. One of the best animes there is, in my opinion. And, bro, this this anime has, like, me in a chokehold when it comes to storytelling because I really want to make, like, something like Jujutsu Kaisen. Do I think the art style is tad generic in the anime? Yes and no. But that's because I'm biased. Now, what I did with this anime is basically I took a bunch of, like, the girls from Jujutsu Kaisen and just merged it into one character because, like, why not? Why not? It, 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 it turned out. Look at this. It turned out. You gonna fault me for something turning out? Let's see. Let's see. What's next? Mushishi! 
<laughs> okay, not many people know about Moshishi. I have not seen it in such a long time. But when I was looking at stuff to put in this, I just thought the art style was pretty cool. And now there's Mushishi. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's been so many years since I last seen this anime. It's really old, but it's one of those chill, like, kind of like nice animes that I remember. I, I can't really tell you. It's like really relaxed. I really had, like, the I really had a blast, like, watching this from the last time I remember. But, like, uh, I only did, like, a headshot for this one because after the sixth one, I was really drained. But I was like, no, I have to make it to ten. I did not make it to ten. This challenge, I absolutely failed this challenge. There you go. Woo! Clannad. That evil, evil, evil anime. It made me cry too much. Clannad. <laughs> I love this anime to bits, but I remember crying so much to it. Now, while I was drawing this, like, style, I realized how far away the eyes are in this style. Huh? I'm sorry, but that threw me off guard. I knew this art style was really old, but whoa. But this was actually a really fun, like, a really fun style, and I'm really happy with the, like, way it turned out. All right. Dungeon Meiji! Okay, this is one of my like my favorite one. Bread, 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 bread. And lastly, there's Dungeon Meshi. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with this anime. I read all the manga. I have a bunch of stickers. Like, I I'm so in love with this anime. It's actually inspired me to like make my own fantasy world, which I'll tell you guys more about that in another video, which I'm actually planning on making some like uh, sketchbook videos. And you guys should really look forward to those. I don't know if they're gonna turn out, but yeah. Anyways, here's the final product to that. Subscribe.